I'm Tiger Tyson. I'm a catcher 2023 at Oceanside Collegiate Academy, and I'm committed to the University of Louisville, and this is what's in my baseball bag. So first off, we'll start with bats. I've got a uh, the old goods from 2019, I believe. Like, it might have been the first one, I don't know. Uh, this is a 3330. It's actually my buddies who is a pitcher at George, the University of Georgetown right now. Um, and my bat that I had over high school season, I had a 34 Voodoo one and the knob came off. So I've been, I used this for some camps this summer and fall. Um, loved it at some events, hit a 400 foot bomb over the scoreboard uh, with this. So that's an awesome bat. I recommend it for anyone. It's, it has some juice. Now I have a wood bat that I use in BP all the time. Um, the bomb bat, they're known to not break. This is this is a 33. I want to get a longer one because I'm trying to go up in my bat size and be able to swing heavier, longer bats, get some more juice. Um, I love this thing. It's pretty good. Um, usually I like uh, the two wood bats I usually use like over the summer and fall are the JC24 and a 33 and a half usually and then also a sand bat Luke Void model and a 33 and a half. Love both those bats. That's what I use this summer and fall and then this is a great thing for BP because you know you can hit off the end, hit get on the hands, it doesn't break. So that's that's why I use this. And here we're starting the front pocket. Got just actually got these recently. Um, the Los Reyes sunglasses. They're pretty cool. I like how they look. You know, we'll put them on top of the hat walking into the facility, the game. It's pretty cool. You know, if it's super sunny and playing catch or something, I can just you know wear them, kind of get see the ball a little better. Now we'll go to some other stuff, batting gloves, that sort of thing. So I have two pairs that I use. These are the ones I use in game. I love these. I've used these for a year and a half, two years now. I just, they're, they're the best feeling batting gloves to me, most comfortable. Um, these are pretty beat up. I've had, I use these for most of the summer and fall, the whole fall, and they're, they're pretty beat up and sweaty. Um, and then these are the batting gloves that I use in BP most of the time. Um, and soft toss just so I don't rip my gamers up. Uh, these are the Rawlings workhorse. They're the, they strap all the way around. Uh, they gave these to us at Junior National over the summer. They're actually very comfortable. I just don't, I can't, I haven't been able to use the wraparound thing in the game. It kind of feels a little weird to me for right now. So sticking with the Marucci for my gamers right now, but I definitely recommend these. These are really good, durable batting gloves. Now, elbow guard, leg guard. I just have a uh, regular small Evo Shield leg guard or elbow guard. Um, this used to be like a custom strap I got from playing with Canes National and American. It has like my name, old number. Um, I like I like these just because I've got hit in the elbow a lot in the arm. Uh, I think I'm thinking about getting a longer one because like sometimes this doesn't cover up the top part of the tricep. I've been hit like right above it like twice, but this is definitely wearing elbow guard if you're not. Then this is a, just a leg guard I got. It kind of matches my high school colors and travel team colors. It's blue. Um, it, it, I just love how the Evo Shield feels around, you know, leg fitting. Um, I've never really got hit in the foot or hit a foul ball, but I think it looks sick and just comfy. Just a feel thing for me, to be honest. Um, and then I got my helmet. Uh, I don't have a logo on it right now. It kind of has the sticky stuff from the block letter C that I was using over the summer. Um, Evo Shield helmet with a C flap. This thing is so comfortable. Like if you're just looking for a comfy light helmet, 
I definitely recommend Evo Shield matte black. Looks awesome. Um, Evo Shield C flap, super. I mean, just I kind of just like it. It doesn't really get in the way of my vision at all. So I definitely recommend using it, just, just in case you happen to take one off the face. Um, definitely wear C flap. It's worth it. Um, the super light, awesome helmet, durable. Love how it feels. Now we'll look at gloves. I have a Rawlings right now, a uh, Heart of the Hide. It's pretty beat up. I've used it for probably three or four years now. Super soft, floppy. Works great. I mean, holds the ground balls, catches it super nice in the pocket. I love how Rawlings feels. I've always been a big Rawlings guy. Um, so I love this thing. Definitely recommend Heart of the Hide to anyone. Then first baseman's mitt. The, the reviews on this are mixed. So I have a Spalding first baseman's mitt. A lot of people love it. It's it's literally so floppy. It's just a vacuum. You get anything in the glove, it's gonna hold in there. Um, but some people are kind of weirded out by the fact that it's a Spalding. But I love it. The, the leather's great. It's held up. This this I've had this for a long time, probably five six years. I don't play first a lot regularly, but. If I ever have to, this this is this is amazing. So I don't even know if they still make spotting gloves, but this, this glove's awesome. That might be it for this bag. Oh, bat weight, just getting loose on deck. If uh if no one on my team has the big one, we'll throw this out there. Uh, get loose, get loose before it bat. Now on to my last glove. All-Star glove. I've always used All-Star. I love it. Never used anything else. Um, blue lacing. Actually, so my glove, the pocket ripped in Atlanta. Went to Better Baseball over there. Awesome shop. And they were out of black lacing. So, you know, my travel team in high school colors are baby blue. So I just figured why not go with that because they didn't have black. Um, so, and then this is a little like wrist guard I don't necessarily I've never taken a ball off like if you strap it up most of the time you're blocking you're kind of gonna get it you I've never I never really blocked it with that um, but it for me I use it for like if I'm really reaching for a pitch so it doesn't pull my glove off it kind of just holds it on and it's comfortable just makes it just makes the overall feel of catching nice um, so I love this thing if, if you're looking for a glove all-star in my opinion is the way to go for catching stuff So bad on the plate. Is that better though? Good. Yeah, good fight there. On to catching bag. First off, the helmet, all star hockey style mask. Use this in high school. Um, I actually have, I on the way, I have the, the Force 3 um, concussion mask coming and then a Rawlings Scully. The Rawlings Scully, I just got it off Amazon for 25, 30 bucks. And it's, it's so light and so comfortable. So if you're looking for a Scully, definitely the Rawlings helmet. Um, matte black and then the I got the force three um, mask and all black coming so I'm excited for that um, but this is my high school gamer helmet it's pretty beat up I've used it for probably three years now um, it's actually it feels pretty good I mean I love all-star gear chest protector more all-star um, this thing probably smells terrible but I love all-star gear. This feels really good. Feel, uh, light on my chest doesn't, you know, blocks the balls. Doesn't really hurt. Um, all-star shin guards. These feel so good. They have the little knee pad in there. Uh, these are awesome. I feel like I can move around, move, move around really well in them. Um, 
they fit super, they fit awesome on my legs. The only problem is sometimes these buckles come off, so I just, I mean, I just zip tied them in like it had the bolt in there. Um, so that's, that's really the only problem with this gear that I've had in the three years using them. Um, but zip tie, I've had the zip ties in, the zip ties haven't broke. It's, it doesn't change the comfort of the gear. Uh, I would love how these fit, love how these feel. Um, would recommend All Star gear 100%. Then I have my old All-Star glove. This thing is beat up. Um, just just in case my glove ever breaks, I just keep it in there. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty messed up, pretty beat up. I used this for seven or eight years, grow, all growing up. It was actually handed down to me from one of my dad's players, Michael Ullman, played in the big leagues for a little bit, but this thing is beat up. The pockets ripped so many times, but I love All-Star. I used to love this thing. It just got too beat up to be honest um, then I have a little training spalding glove um, just a little, I don't even know how big it is I think it's like nine maybe nine inches but a little training glove for infield that I'll use every once in a while um, just kind of mess around with it work on you know transfers and everything um, yeah spalding just because Actually, Robinson Cano, when my dad was uh, coaching the Yankees, he gave us a regular glove and then this. So I've just kind of used this as a little training aid ever since. Just kind of keep the, the the actual Robinson Cano glove on a shelf because I think it's pretty cool. I've got a couple baseballs. As a catcher, you always want to keep baseballs in your bag. Um, just if you need to throw the pitcher and they don't have a ball or if you know, your coach is running late, um, which they, I mean, usually coaches aren't. but. You always have a ball to throw with, with the pitcher. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's it. That's what's in my baseball bag.